like that. We're gonna get it. She was in the factory. She's got one on. You got it on? Hmm? Yeah, I do. The one I made for you just now? Oh, yeah. We just made you that. You can record this. This is all part of the... Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh, nice. Yeah. We just yeah. made that in the shop in front Very of in the cool. camera. Very cool. Is this like for um, is this like a private documentary you're working on or is this for like... It's, it's a private documentary that I'm working on. I mean, I'm a film student at a RISD. Like yeah. Spending some time with Phil and yeah. day by day. Like. Yeah, I grew up here, so I've known him since I was like 16. Oh, so. you grew up in Ridgewood? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew right. Right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it's okay. There's a little bit of wind, but. Perfect. It's good because the sun, when the, when the sun's not behind it. The sun's in the perfect, like the sun's bouncing off of here. Well, you know what we're doing here? This is what the. And then you see the PG, you know, see on the block, the fourth block up on the bottom, there's like a white spot. Yeah. That's the mouth. Yeah. Then that's the eyes and the face on top. And then you see the shoulders and the arms hanging down. Yeah. You know? That's it. Okay, that's, she's appearing here. Now, if you have, for, for some reason, if you're saying that it doesn't look exactly like the Holy Mother, you know, the way Michelangelo used to do it, mm -hmm. right? I was at Ground Zero when they picked out this cross, and does that cross look like the one Jesus was crucified on? <laughs> kind of. Hey, it's funny you see it. Well, that kind of looks like that. That was made out of steel girders, and it was like, um, okay, whatever. And it was twenty feet I was tall. Here, I was here, by the way, when it happened. Oh, I was there. Really? Yeah. I was actually working about four blocks away, and I was actually there when it happened and the traffic i mean i have a I whole, I have a whole I, story i, I could tell it. about just that alone yeah everyone has their 9-11 story around here yeah so like um so you know the cross i'm talking about it went down after they did it when they resurrected that cross and made it the centerpiece i didn't know about that part okay you didn't go down there i didn't know that well i was there went under more tumultuous times. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. There, there you were there, and there, there you are. That's where I was. You. There you are, yeah. that's you right there, right? That was, well, I was sort of walking from south north. I was actually standing across the street from the World Trade Center before the second building came down. Wow. And then I left just 50, I left, I'd say, about five to seven minutes before the buildings came down and made my way across a ferry across the Hudson River. That's a long story. I don't want to bore everybody with that right now. It's okay. I lost a nephew in Candor Fitzgerald. Okay, yes, I remember they were on the top of the uh, yeah, building. I lost a, a, a nephew, he got three sons and all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. He held the door for everybody to get out and then he couldn't get out and his wife never forgave him for yeah. it. Not that he could forgive him, but he's, he had three sons, she has to, what? Okay, and that, without that, and so. I didn't go down until they came on the radio saying that they needed responders to like get the other responders out with yeah. metal saws. Remember that when they were asking for a gen general call for help right. from uh, and I'm civil defense, so like I had I had to really go. So I got there about two, a couple of days late. Not two, but well, one day, two days they called up for help, or one day really, and then. Um, I was in the, I was in, and I stayed there ever since, like, for, I was there for 12 years, I guess, until Sandy, a little bit after Sandy. Just two days ago, my, I came to watch a movie here with my parents, and as we were walking out, we both noticed Phil, and I didn't know my father knew him, and he didn't know that my father was my father, so I've known him all this time, and my father's known him all this time, and... As we were walking away, I thought to myself, that's amazing that my father had known, has known Phil for this many, I don't know how many years, and I've known Phil this many years. Why didn't somebody record him? Now I'm seeing it exactly two days later that someone's actually involved 
in some kind of project to create a documentary on Phil, his life, and whatever he's been doing for the past number of years. So this is like, I'm so happy this is taking place. It's, it's really very nice of you to be doing this. Thanks, I'm shocked that no one has done it before, really. It's, yeah, yeah, it's insane. He's been here for a little while now, and I, I know the thought crossed my mind just literally two days ago. Yeah. And now I'm seeing you standing next to him. It's like, it's, <laughs> it, it was like fate. It's like I thought about it and then it happened. <laughs> That's nice. Anyway. Um, this is my downtime. You didn't think it's like on my uptime. This is my downtime. When I, 9-11, and the 12 years I spent in front of that cross at Ground Zero, I met millions of people, I guess millions, out all over the world, and they all took pictures of me, and you saw the amount of, of literature I handed out, oh, everybody, yeah. millions and millions of literature, and, um, you know, there were semi-documentaries on me there. And then before that, you know, I was like, uh, just at, at um, the Metropolitan Museum and, the, the, and then uh, Lincoln Center, and Strawberry Fields, and things like that, so I, that was like downtime. But before the, then before that, there was this place called Jungle Habitat in New Jersey. I was the horse mountain ranger for Jungle Habitat. It's on the website, right? And if anybody, you have to be way old to remember Jungle Habitat, but when Jungle Habitat was there, it's the predecessor for Great Flags, right? There's Six Flags, whatever they call it. That was the, started here, in, right here in uh, like Greenwood Lake. Mm. And the trap, I used to hear that the traffic was blocked up all the way to suffer in New York and like to, to get there. And when you get there, the high point of being there was to taking a picture of me sitting on a white horse. <laughs> yeah, I was, and that, that lasted a few years. And then like, then when you go back farther than that, you're like at Woodstock and, and you know, Chicago and like, Boston and Watson, the whole 60 thing, and I was virtually led to six involved in every inch of that. And then you go before that, I was in Fall of Cuba, and I was involved with the Fall of Cuba, which was the biggest thing that ever happened in the history of this, the world. It was, there's nothing's going to top the like, Cuban Missile Crisis. Nothing will ever top that. They, they did one, the Avengers, remember, it did an episode with the Cuban Missile Crisis in it? I don't know. Yeah, well, they've done movies about it, and uh, it was the day the, 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 the Earth stood still for two days between Russia and the United States. We're gonna, what they were going to do over Cuba. Right. I was standing right there. I was right there in Miami, the whole thing, you know, as first responder, like, you to deal with it. You going tonight? Uh, yeah, big time. Absolutely. Big time. To RCC? Yeah. Yeah, he's good, he's good friends with... Um, Anna, who we saw the other day in the video, was like, she's not going to be here because she's back in England. Yeah, she just went back. Yeah, yeah she I just went to high went school back. with Anna. Oh, really? Yeah, she yeah. knows Anna. That's why oh, no I was way. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Stella, by the way. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, making a documentary about okay. Phil. Cool. Do, you, do you go to the Richard Clifford Company on okay. Mondays? Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know That's... what's going on here? Anna knows, but I haven't seen you about. Have I shown you about this? Um, I'm not. Okay, here's what's going on. Uh, you remember the cross at Ground Zero? I'm going to run in here. Yeah. Okay, you don't remember Thank the you. cross. Um, I do. Are okay. you going to be spending so, time um, with him like on a day yeah, by day? It sort of takes okay. some okay. imagination to think that Jesus has something to do with his cross. So if I ever run into you, you know what I mean? But, sure. like, but if you wanted, oh, and everybody oh, wanted it, so it became the the holy relic. A piece of scrap, right? Well, on on the wall of the of the. The museum on the big tower there, on, on, on the like a movie theater. Just look where I got a picture of. See the, the water facing this. This is the extreme right. So this is the extreme right. This is water. This is the list of the the ratings, right? Right. That's where the feet are. And then you count four blocks up, and you see like a, a white face on the fourth block on on the bottom of the fourth block up over the R. It's okay to think it's a five. It's all right if you think you see an I see a five, but you don't see a face. That's all right. Yeah. But you see the white, right? Yeah. But now, if now you have to admit that if you're seeing a five, that you're seeing a five that's got like a mouth on the bottom part of it. 
because fives don't have like mouths on the bottom. You see the dark, the real white spot on it? You yes, know what I mean? I do. Yes. It's like a mouth. But that's okay because remember when we were little kids, we used to see the five with the arms and the legs and the mouth. And you should say, I'm a five and me with one or six. And you remember that when, I don't know, they used to have cartoon numbers. I yeah. guess animation's grown since then. Mm -hmm. But, um. I see what you're saying. Okay, so now if you think of it, that you see the mouth, so you, you forget about the five having a mouth, think of it, the five, that's a face there, and then the dark parts, the shoulders and the arms are hanging down. And, oh, I can see that. And it falls into its perspective as that size, no, right? I, I actually can see that for sure. Yeah, and then, and then um, the thing is that if like, um, the spirit world has a thing about not, it's really doing you a favor that you're seeing it rather than you doing it a favor by seeing it. Because this is like the mother wisdom, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. just like, she's like, doesn't really need you as bad as you like, kind of like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like you're applying for a job, sort of like, you know, you want eternal life, right? Yeah. So like, if you see her, you get eternal life. If you don't see her, you don't get eternal life. It's right. like, you know, it's just like, if you do, if you don't, I don't know, as far as the universe is concerned, they could use your soul and use it for fuel in the middle of the sun. You know what I mean? You know, you got this energy field, right? And you don't want to be part of the spirit world, so they say, well, we'll we're not going to throw the energy field away. We'll use you to help the neutrons and the protons in the middle of the sun burn, and they call that, and that it hurts. It hurts. Forever, yeah. It's like you don't go nowhere. You either go to the spirit world or you get recycled into the center of like the, you know, the stuff that makes the sun and the Big Bang, the energy, the right. extremely small. And that stuff kind of goes on a long time and it's very hot and it's painful. I can only imagine. Yeah, I know. So we get the book and we try to figure out how not to get, I see, I see, I'm going, I'm, I want, I'm I going, I'm saying. going, I'm not, I'm, right, I'm right. afraid, I don't want to be the, the, the other thing. So like, you know, we, I'm not the first person that's ever taught this kind of teaching. It's a stock 101 religion. The only thing is that I'm the only person that's got credentials in being able to say, I witnessed one million people going past this thing and seeing God on it. So I know that you don't have to look like God that for people to see God on you, right, you know right, what right, I mean? Right. And this is looks more, and then I, and I, that's about the same as, I get to say, I see it more, I see the Holy Mother here more than I did there, but I'm not saying I didn't see God there. Jesus was there, he's hanging on that thing saying, oh, there I am, right? You know right. what I mean? Yeah. But the Holy Mother here is like, I, I just like look at it, it's like I can see her crystal clear, you know? I, I see her more like the way I did drew her, the, 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 that's her. Yeah. That's who she is. And um, the, where that uh, anomaly comes from that looks like a mouth, mm -hmm. it comes from, and um, you can go in the movie theater, they have pictures of it, the movie theater, what it look, used to look like when it was, fir when it was first there is they had a gigantic warner going up that side. Oh, okay. They looked like a stack of Volkswagens, the letters were so big. You know, they were like car-sized right. letters, you know, like going down. This is the R at the bottom, right? Right. And to bolt that, which was probably this, I, I, I've been on, I've been on 30, uh, 10 meter sailboats, you know? And I know how powerful the wind is when it blows. Like, you know, I've been on, I've done some, I've done Catalina. And like, phew, it really had to be bolted into that wall to have a thing that big. So those are probably the size bolts that they bolt the George Washington Bridge together with, yeah? Then when they got rid of the sign, you don't just take those bolts and sandpaper them away. Right. So they were probably burnt off with a torch. And when you burn stuff with a torch, you wind up with scars, you know? Yeah. So, and that's what you got. So if you think, that, and it's three-dimensional, as the snow gets drifts on top of it sometimes, it accumulates on top of it, and it's not going away. And that building's been there about in 90 years, is exactly how long it's been there, I'd like say 100. And then, um, that ain't going away. Right. That's there. But now comes the big thing, 
which she knows about because she's been studying a little bit it so like she's not she'll just ride on with it that the holy mother was seeing here right mm. doesn't need that building she's really on top of a rock in sicily on top of mount etna she's just came here to go on this building to, to keep me company because she's busy doing something with me. She says, you, we've been working on you. We put a lot of time in you. So you got that cross time, you know what I mean? You got, right, right. And, and what she has is that that mouth kind of communicates with me. And I can show you exactly, yeah, I know it's, it's a little hard to grasp, but I can show you what it looks like in King James. You know, King James is King James. Hey, Anne is Anna's, right? She's Queen Anne. Well, this is King James. What King James Bible says 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 about it, and you see where this one little line right here. Now this is Jesus speaking, or you know, it says that wisdom knows her own children. So now we know that. Don't think of Holy Mother. Think of Mother Wisdom. Let me try to figure out what wisdom is. And when you start thinking about what wisdom is, you start thinking about some heavy, abstract stuff. I believe it. You know? And when you start thinking about it, you open the door to, if you get really good at it, to allowing me be a force inside of your head, put knowledge, help you put the pieces of the jigsaw together because it's, ah, uh, and, oh, force comes into your life. Oh, see, this piece fits here. And see, that's what's going on. You know what I mean? Right. So wisdom, if, if there is ever a thing to describe what spirit is <clears throat> and what intelligence beyond your own is, is that thing inside of your head that helps you think about real heavy stuff. Right. And like, I got it. And you go, well, I didn't get it. I sort of just got it from somebody. So I don't know how I got it. I couldn't figure it out, but I, I got it somehow. Yeah. And it's, it's like somebody's helping you out. And that's wisdom. That's See mother later, wisdom. Phil. See you later, man. Bye. We'll be. That's fantastic. We saw him. He's in charge of. Say, Hi. Hello. Hey, do you see what's going on here? Look, I'll give you one. You can take it home and think about it. But, cool. but uh, okay. the holy mother's appearing on top of the R on in Ridgewood here. He sees it plain as day, and he's as uh, sober as the judge. Ah. See it? Look, you look at the R, and then you look at four blocks up, uh -huh. and then you see that like looks like a five kind of thing, but the five with a mouth on it. And I used to be the guy at Ground Zero. Remember, I used to play the pool in front of the cross there at Ground Zero? So everybody sorts out on the cross, so like I know that it doesn't have to really shout out, be looking. You have to just want it. Yeah, you know right, I mean? right, you right. Help out. And it, it's playing the day if you help it a little bit, right? Okay. I, I have to go, but I'll see you at Ridgewood Coffee later. Oh, yeah, we're going to be going nuts up there tonight. Okay, okay yeah. sure. I'll see you, Phil. Yep, yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Oh, wow. Okay, now to get it, what I'm, get that on picture with your, do you have your super lens? Lester, Lester, no, he knows more, he knows about this cross, how everybody saw God in this cross, right? Yeah. And this thing looks about as much like, I mean, if you can see God in the cross, you should be able to see the Holy Mother standing here on top of the, the movie theater, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And he's a Marine Corps guy. And they're, they're, they've got his feet on the ground, but it's just there. You can't say it's not there. Okay. <sighs> so many people. Everybody. Yeah, I, it's, it's plain as the night. It's not a, not a rough sea. It's there. No, not at all. Uh, we, uh, we haven't got it on camera, though, yet. My camera doesn't get it. My camera just... Bleh, it's like, what happened? No. So, so uh, let's... Let's shoot the mother. I have pictures of the, the... The... The anomaly, which is the mother anomaly. Mm -hmm. But she's connected to... She... This, when you're shooting her, the most important thing is the, this is not the Holy Mother of Ridgewood Theater. This uh -huh. is the Holy Mother of C Cecilia Mount Etna Rock, El Paso Rock come to do a visit to, personally to me. If 
I wasn't here, no, it wasn't, nobody noticed it until I noticed it, until, you know what I mean? Why do you think it's you, specifically? Huh? Why do you think it's you? I Why? Mean, it's, because well, it's well, behind it? Philip El Paso Church, and it's the rock, and she, that's how she did it. She appeared in front of other people that to heal them in their bedrooms and stuff. She just does house calls for special people. And why me? Because like, um, I was, I had such anxiety that I wasn't in Sicily at where she was. That I was, it was hurt. I could stay in the Phil Bell Paso Rock and Mount, the Holy Mother stand on top of What am I doing here in Ridgewood? And then I hear a voice and say, look, I'll come and be in Richmond. And then all of a sudden I go, oh, this is just like when the, I used to sit in front of the cross. You're here, the cross, Jesus was there. Now I got the Holy Mother here. And then I said, wow, it's the same. And then I'm back at home. And this is where I've been at Ground Zero in front of that cross. So fate. It's part of them. It's part, I don't, I really, what a lot of people call fate, if you really get to be a really strong believer, you call predestination. It's as God doesn't have do future and past. Okay. God just like it's like on it's like on a CD is the whole movie. Oh no, I I just didn't see what's on the screen. No no, all the whole movie is on a CD. It's not just what's on the screen now. I don't understand what you're talking about. It's only on the screen now, right? No, God knows. How would he have written this book? There's so much detail in the futuristic stuff in the New Test, in the revelations that he had to be all times always where God's in God's uh, and the way God created the universe. And that and that's then then you've got like uh, understand what you know. That's the way things were supposed to be. Supposed to be means that's the way they already are in the future. The future is just like on a CD. He's got the end of the movie and the beginning both on it, and we are now. Mm -hmm. And um, so 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 uh, yeah. And then this, did, you, did you see the Anna? Did you did you see the Emma picture on on the wall yet? It, Steve says we got to get that in it. That car just parked in front of Emma. That means we're going to have to get up and go over there. But this is the best view from here. We we'll just wait for that car to end. There's this movie coming out, Emma, and she looks just like the Holy Mother. And I've got a poster of her on the movie theater. And I hope it, you know, and they, they, they only stay for a short while until the movie's open. So, but um, so I, I wasn't the only one that noticed. Steve says to me, yeah, it looks just like Emma. It looks like the Holy Mother is like uh, showing you exactly what she's, Emma must be about some special girl. That's all I got to say, because I'm getting, uh, you know, foreshadows of her being saintly, or mother goddessly. And they call her handsome on the poster. And handsome is a funny kind of a word for, um, I never heard it really apply on a, to, to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, on a poster kind of, usually it's beautiful or something like that, or, you know, for, for a lady. But she says she's really a handsome woman. So you got to get a close up of the when you go over there. I guess when you do that, you got to get um, the the Emma being there while it's there at the time you're doing the documentary to like uh, to like. And then we got a little woman, and so it's like all these little pieces fit together. But uh, you do that too much, and then they, they like uh, you know whatever you, you're uh, just redundant, you know, where you got the picture, you know, sit and be peaceful and um, just don't hope. And like I say, a lot of people worry about little things. I just worry, is there a disaster going on? No, everything's fine then. You know, it's like, let's, 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 you know, the little things don't matter. As long as we don't get a hurricane or a nuclear war or something like that, I'm not going to worry about, like, uh, the, the little things because that's the way civil defense guys are brought up, you know? They're brought up for like, uh, that disaster looms and you're gonna be ready for it and you just focus on that's what your job is. And if you got a fireman like that, they might you know, run into burning buildings, you know, and all that, you know? So like, uh, it's a good, this is what, 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 what's, going, what what's going on. You got the whole doc done on that, and, and we have another one to do after this. I want to really that 
I don't want to start talking about that, but the other one is about the, the, the okay, somebody comes and they see the Holy Mother. Now what do you want to do, right? Well, you want to go on the, the tour. And the tour consists of like, oh, this, this, the Prospect Street Bank up there and then Mount Carmel Church being this, that, and another thing. And then you get down, then you go to the end of Prospect and you hit the triangle. And then you got the, the, the like um, smokehouse that belonged to the little bridge and the little bridge is connected. That's the Saddle River Bridge is connected to the Passaic River Bridge. And then you finally get to the Great Falls. And you realize and that this, this area is smitten in history. And when I talk about history, I don't mean American history. I mean like human history, that we've got um, artificial waterfalls, kind of, they call them dams, made out of big rocks. Because in the old days when the early people had to cross a river, they did it by putting rocks in the water and climbing across the rocks. They didn't have suspension stuff or other things, right? And then at the same time, they found out that they could catch fish because the fish would have to get snagged going over the rocks. So then it became a fish kill there. And then um, it became the center of attraction for everything. The only thing you need is a good river. Well, I'm talking about the Passaic River waterfalls. Imagine how, how good of a river can you have than probably the biggest waterfalls in the United States. For really big falls, we have to get over there and shoot that. And um, then that water makes, and then we can take, and the dam that they made is still there. If you put a date on that dam, it'd be older than the pyramids. And everybody thinks the pyramids are old. They're not old at all compared to rock, 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 rock stuff. Rock stuff goes, rock, Dams, Beaver's been doing dams, you know, like this is Native American making dams, and it's there. And that's probably, there's not a heck of a lot of stuff older because the, the little ones, it never got worked over. It's like, and it's next, it's on the Pacific after the biggest waterfall, so it's a significant one. So they really put their backs into putting big rocks there. So it's a huge, and it can, it just, when you look at the water, you can just see the water going over the rocks and you go, wow, right across. It's, it's fantastic. And, um, there's, and there's no dating it. There's just no dating it. And I, I could go back 20,000 years because the Native Americans, I think the Native Americans, some people say had been here 25,000 years on, the, on this part of the United States. The other ones that came in the other back door, they're 19,000 years. But the, the Salutrians that came over during a, a wicked ice age, and they came over the Atlantic Ocean, you know, on, on the icebergs, to, uh, and they were just living off of the, uh, they were living there with the seals. It wasn't you're by yourself. When, you go, when you're on an iceberg, it's not as long as you think. It's the seals and walruses and all these other delicious things hanging around, you know? And then, um, so they just worked their way on the icebergs over to here. And, that, and they say in Cactus Hill, this is a, a dig where they, they got um, artifacts from Native Americans 25,000 years here on this coast predating anything that's on the west coast or even the middle of the country and then that's how old that dam is so we might be looking at the oldest thing in the, the oldest human piece of work work and ship in the the americas and it might be more than twenty thousand years old and nothing to, twenty thousand years when you get to that number you're just about prehistoric days there's nothing that really survives that maybe underwater dwarf, something like that, but like uh, all the other uh, things, Stonehenge and all that, no, they don't touch it. And then we're right there, it's part of our tour. Super, and then you get to see the falls. It's unbelievable. And I'm in a movie at the falls. Remember the William Patterson movie online with uh, Allen Ginsberg? Yeah. That's at the waterfall, so I've already done that. I've been there. I'm, Speaking from like um, the heart of like uh, Allen Ginsberg and stuff. Hey, you want to see what we're doing here? It, oh, yeah. it has to do with Ground Zero, even, man. Come here. Oh, yeah. uh, people are busy. Huh? People are busy, I guess. 